Hi, so in this video, I wanted to answer another question that we get all the time from, uh, from buyers. And it's, the question is basically, you know, Juan, how do I, how, how can I know that the property doesn't have any liens, doesn't have any mortgages, doesn't have any pass through taxes? And it's a very legitimate question because of course, as a buyer, you don't want to buy a property and get stuck with the previous sellers, the previous owners' uh, debts, right? And so it's, it's a perfectly legitimate question. So today, uh, the only way that you would get stuck with a property like that, like where you're inheriting a bunch of other debts of the, of the previous owner, is if you're buying a property at auction, like at the courthouse, um, and, and, uh, and if you're doing that, you're probably not going to be, definitely this video doesn't apply to you, and you're probably gonna be a very sophisticated investor. Um, those types of properties are bought basically sight unseen, and they have no clear title. However, the, the rest of the properties, the other 99% of properties that are sold uh, on the regular market um, with, uh, with financing or even cash uh, offers, there's basically an, uh, a situation that's called um, title, uh, clear and marketable title. And so if, you're, if we are helping you, you are going to get clear and marketable title. What that means is that we are going to close through a title company or an attorney and that uh, entity, whether it's a title company or an attorney, they can be the same, they can be separate, but they are going to make sure that the title is clear. And so there's going to be a title search and a lien search and a permit search that's done prior to closing. And they're going to, the buyer, you are going to receive what's called title insurance at closing. The only way that the title can be insured is if the title is clear and marketable. And the only way that it can be clear and marketable is if all of the debts are paid off at a closing. Let's say, for example, there's a, uh, a property where the debts exceed the, the, the current market value, the sales price. That's what's called a short sale, and we can talk about that in a separate video. But in that, in that scenario, the only way that the property can be sold for today's market value is if the debtors, the other people that are being owed money to, like other mortgages and other people, other entities, if they agree to discount, to reduce, to take less than what is owed to them at the time of sale. So if you're the average buyer buying your first time home, uh, if you're coming in with three, five, 10, 20% down payment, if you're a regular investor buying a property uh, as a rental, you don't have to worry. If um, you know, if we're helping you, we're definitely going to, you know, walk you through this whole process. But basically every single one of the transactions that we close with our clients, everyone always gets uh, title insurance and they get clear and marketable title. So even if you get a property that maybe needs a little bit of repair, right? Maybe uh, the kitchen needs to be updated. Maybe the bathrooms have to be updated. Maybe the, the you, you know, it has old carpet and eventually has to be updated. That's okay. You're buying a property as is in its current as is condition, but free and clear of any other debts. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If you have questions about this or anything else at any time, as always, feel free to send us a message and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.